In the YouTube algorithm, the people are represented by three separate yet equally important groups, the one that creates, the one that views, and the one that just can't help but react. Under Title 17, I am a member of an elite squad, also known as the Special Viewers Unit. These are the stories. Today I'm going to be making a simple dinner, but something very delicious and healthy. Um, it's my first time trying this particular recipe. So I'm going to be making a simple fish fillet meal with a lemon cream sauce with some rice and some roasted carrots. So, yella, let's get to this here. So first things first, I'm going to just chop some red onion and some garlic. I'm wearing a microphone, so I'm sure you can hear all my heavy breathing in it, but whatever. <laughs> I'm going to use the onions in the rice as well as the fish sauce. Now my husband doesn't like huge chunks of onion, so sometimes I put them in the food processor and just, you know, give them a quick one second little pulse, but I'm going to slice them and dice them. <laughs> you can use any kind of onion you have, but the um, red onions have a bit more flavor, I find. They're a bit strong, but it's okay. All right, if you have fresh garlic, use it. But I have to use garlic powder because I've had this garlic since before, <laughs> before I went to Thailand. And so, yeah, they're not good anymore. All right, I have a large pot here. And on medium heat, I'm going to put some olive oil and a chunk of butter. Eh, macarena. And then medium low a bit until they're cooked down, not caramelized, but just cooked down enough until they're golden brown and translucent. <laughs> All right, I think you get the idea with the chef hat. So <laughs> a baking dish here with a big piece of white fish. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna broil it for a couple of minutes before adding the sauce and then baking it again. So now our onions are done and I've reserved half. They look like this and half for the rice. And this recipe is super easy. So I've had some rice soaking for about a half an hour. I've rinsed it twice. So I've drained the water. Rice is one of those things that just takes a lot of practice. <laughs> you know, when I first started making rice on my own, oh my gosh, disaster. So I'm gonna take some olive oil and put enough because I don't want it to stick to the pan. People say that too much of anything is not good for you, baby. But I don't know about that. As many times as we've loved and we've shared love and made love, it doesn't seem to me like it's enough. Mark the fucking salmon and cook it in the oven! We're also gonna put some pepper, a little bit of salt. We're gonna add the rice in. Gotta wash my hands. And I'm going to add just enough water to cover the rice. I check with my finger. If the water covers the fingertip, it's good enough. So yeah, that's good. All right, we're going to use some chicken bouillon. Just one cube, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Put this under the broiler. Again, just a few minutes. Gonna let the rice come to a boil. All right, and we're gonna make the sauce. So we have half the onions. <laughs> Getting all the juice out of the lemon that I can. I don't have a small strainer for the seeds. <laughs> and we're gonna do one more. So two whole lemons. Some butter. And we're gonna melt the butter. I'm gonna put a lid on. Reduce the heat to low, about two. I forgot to cook the carrots. I'm always forgetting the vegetables, I know. We'll have another vegetable on the side. A fresh vegetable, I guess. Eh. With that, we're going to add some cream. It's a very thick sauce. I'm going to add some water. And this is going to bake in the oven. Some onion powder, some garlic powder, a little bit of yellow curry, some pepper, some salt. 
And I'm gonna sprinkle the fish with paprika. All right, we have the sauce. So the fish is out of the oven. I'm letting the temperature go to 375 on the oven. And I'm just gonna, <laughs> I love paprika, so <laughs> quite a bit. All right, and I have some lemon slices here. And we're gonna put it back in a 375 degree oven until it's nice and bubbly and a bit brown. Maybe 15 to 20 minutes. All right, I added some bay leaves here. Now, how gorgeous is that? All right, I'm gonna dish this up for my husband and I. And it's fluffy. And it's fluffy. Look at that fluffy unicorn. He's so fluffy, I'm gonna die. He's so fluffy. Look at that. Some rice. All right, now, moment of truth. Wow, it just falls apart, so, oh! Oh no, it fell apart! Okay, that's okay. <laughs> that's all right. This sauce is really looking great. And there you have it. All right, guys, moment of truth. If you want it a little less tangy, use one lemon. That's really nice. I am a <laughs> Alright guys, I'm not gonna do a mukbang today, but I will be doing other things, so we'll see you later. I don't know if you can see very well, but um, also, I feel like something is squeezing my arm. It's very uncomfortable. <sighs> and I have to stop. So, today we're gonna have something really healthy to flush out the seafood. Now, I did go to the bathroom, so it has already come out, but it's leaving some type of residue inside, something that I'm allergic to, and it's not okay. So, I, I don't know if it was the sodium, or there was a lot of salt in that butter sauce. I really don't know what it is, but I, I, I've been up for a couple of hours, and uh, this is my face. Like, it, has, it hasn't, like, depuffed yet. <laughs> So I just want to show people the truth. So people are like, oh. And I'm speaking from the heart and I know this is really morbid, but I want to forgive them. But a part of me really wants to collect them, lock them in a basement and watch them rot and then set them on fire. That's how much hatred I have. <laughs>